1825, Samuel Morse was in Washington, D.C., where he'd been commissioned to paint a portrait of Revolutionary War hero Marquis de Lafayette. While there, he received a letter from a horse messenger informing him that his wife was sick. Morse immediately left Washington, but by the time he reached his home in Connecticut, his wife was already dead and buried. Heartbroken, Samuel Morse made it his mission to develop a faster way of sending messages. Several years later, while returning home from Europe, Morse met a man who showed him an electromagnet, which gave Morse an idea. He could use the opening and closing of an electrical circuit to send messages far and wide. Morse recruited the help of Leonard Gale and Alfred Vail to help build a prototype for his single wire telegraph. On January 6, 1838, it was ready for its first public demonstration. Morse set up his telegraph in Morristown, New Jersey, and using electrical impulses to transmit a code of dots and dashes, later known as Morse code, he was able to send messages over a distance of 10 miles. It was a major breakthrough. But the real challenge would be convincing Congress to fund a system of telegraph lines across the country. In 1843, Morse was granted $30,000 to build a line between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. It was opened a year later, and Morse proved its value by telegraphing the message, What Hath God Wrought? The telegraph wire tied the cattle markets of Kansas to the tables of the East, hitched the cotton mills of New England to the southern plantations and the New York cutting tables. Other methods of communication were slow and tedious. The telegraph was the only means of rapid communication. Construction of telegraph lines spread rapidly throughout the 1850s. And in 1861, Western Union, which would come to dominate the telegraph industry, opened up the first transcontinental line. 19th century communications were transformed. Messages that had once taken weeks, even months, were now relayed in a matter of minutes. Early equipment was crude and handmade, but telegraphy made rapid progress as the years went by and went forward with America's expanding frontiers. Today, Western Union operates a vast network of two million miles of wire, furnishing swift, reliable communication. Throughout the first half of the 20th century, the telegraph remained a prominent method of long-distance communication. It accelerated the flow of information, changing the way the world interacted, and guiding greater efficiency in everything from the way business was conducted to the way news was reported. Succeeding technology like the telephone, television, and internet have carried on. The legacy of the telegraph driven by the same spirit that pushed Samuel Morse to rethink what's possible. Mm -hmm.